Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven6754 Gaming. And in this video, we're going to look at how to set up Fluid Synth and Roland Sound inside of DOSBox. Um, so for those who don't know, Roland was an extremely popular um, synthesizer that allowed you, well, allowed games to have really, really nice music. Um, obviously, you know, you still would use like a sound blaster for your sound effects and stuff, but, you know, a lot of times you would use Roland for the actual MIDI music itself. So we're going to use Doom, since I have Doom, um, as a nice and lovely example on like what it sounds like. So first, let's go on ahead and just go into the Doom directory. And we're just going to type Doom. And this, this is Sound Blaster, which admittedly doesn't really sound that bad. I'm just going to load up the first level so we can actually hear it. Okay? But what if we want Roland? Specifically Roland. Okay. So, I actually do kind of like the ad lib uh, version, but, you know. Okay. I need to get to the X. So... Someone, and I was searching for a while, but someone made a sound font for, or based on the Roland SE-55, which is uh, pretty much, you know, one, it, was, it was one of the most popular versions of Roland. It came out in, I think, the early 90s, but it's still very popular. So you can grab it off here off of archive.org. Um, and then once you have it downloaded, you just want to go into your DOSBox directory, wherever that happens to be on your system, and then inside of sound fonts. Now, you could put it anywhere and then just point the file to it, like do the direct path. But if you just dump it in the sound font folder, you don't have to put the path to the file. And I have a couple of different sound fonts in here because I was playing around with using them. Some of these are actually pretty interesting. I renamed mine to just be Roland. So it's a little easier to name. And then we'll just open up Visual Studio Code or whatever text editor. You got to open up your uh, <clears throat> your DOSBox staging configuration file or just your regular DOSBox configuration file. Now, if you're on Windows, so this is really important, but systems do include a bare bones sound font for playing MIDI files. Um, if you're on Linux, I forget what it's called. It's general underscore BS or GS. I can't remember. It might be GS. Um, and that will allow you to play like sound canvas stuff with DOSBox, but it doesn't sound completely accurate. The Windows one, on the other hand, does. Uh, so if you're on Windows, you can actually just set it to fluid synth and it's fairly accurate, at least for playing like the opening and stuff. So we're just going to scroll down past Mixer. And for MIDI device, uh, we are going to set this to Fluid Synth. And that's it. We're just, now we're telling it, we're going to use the Fluid Synth synthesizer. But now we need to point it to our file. And in this case, it's Roland. So we're just going to call it Roland. As you can see, it's like right in here. It'll look in this directory. Um, and you can also add like say 50 at the end, which will attenuate the sound by 50%. You can set it to whatever you would like it to be. It's entirely up to you. I think by default, um, it's at 100. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. Okay, so now we're just gonna relaunch DOSBox here. And you can see in the console window, if you're on Linux, you wanna launch from terminal in order to see this, uh, it is loading it up. Okay, so. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to maximize this and then go into my directory where uh, Doom is. And this will work for any DOS game. Any DOS game that supports Roland, um, we're going to go to Setup. And then we're going to choose the Music Sound Card and switch away to Sound Canvas. And the default settings are fine. Uh, if you have Gravis, you can try Gravis. You know, you have to have it. Uh, but you do need to do a little bit of configuring for that. Um, and then we're just going to save parameters and launch Doom. And DOSBox has frozen, apparently. This version is not shareware. Yeah, thank you. Um, 
It did not say why it froze. All right, let me, I already changed it over, so it's fine. There we go. I don't, I don't know why that froze, but this is what, this is what it should sound like. So we'll just go. There you go. You now have the iconic Doom music that it is very famous for. Which does sound absolutely lovely, and it's very difficult to play with the mouse and keyboard. There you have it. So that's it. Just a real quick tutorial on how to set that up. And now you can emulate Roland across any game or device that you would like to do that for. It'll work on pretty much anything that is uh, Roland, MT32, you know, whatever. A lot of games have a lot more options. Doom actually doesn't have very many sound options, uh, but it did support the major ones. So that, I guess that was fair. All right. So I will see you all in the next one. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, you can put them in the comment section below. Uh, or if you have any uh, tutorials or on anything you'd like to see, just let me know. I'm actually gonna exit this because this is actually like super loud and it's actually competing with my voice. Okay, so. I will see you all in the next video. Don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something DOS related.